What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hasn't been a whole lot to talk about with spring break just ending for these guys, but we did have uh, our first scrimmage held on Saturday and had another practice yesterday, which was Tuesday. And just wanted to kind of talk about some of the things I've heard and my impressions of what, what things look like going forward. So starting with the scrimmage, um, seemed like the offense won the day which is very similar to the tune we heard last last spring offense seemed to be ahead of the defense now it's tough to kind of gauge it's, it's always tough to gauge whenever you're going against yourself it's tough to gauge whether the offense doing good is a sign the offense is is, is looking good or whether it's a sign that the defense is looking bad it's always tough to gauge that but um from what i've been hearing it, it sounds like it's kind of a mixture of both I think the offense is improving. I think Jim Chain is doing a great job with a great job with that unit. Uh, if you, if you kind of just listen to what what what's been said, I mean, they seem to be crisp. Everyone seem seeming to know the calls, knowing uh, you know the right checks to get into and that whole deal. He's given Garantano a lot more freedom uh, to 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 check out of bad plays and get into good plays, and so it's looking pretty good there. Um, the O line, I think, is. Showing some improvement actually from last year. If you just look at the depth we had, and I, and I figured the O line would improve, just returning pretty much everyone from last season. O line's improving. Um, Jerome Carvin's being a guy that I've been been hearing good things about, playing, getting some reps at center. Um, a guy who's likely going to have a starting spot on, on that on that unit this year. And then uh, uh, K. Rajan uh, Calbert, a guy who I mentioned in my last video, I believe, big number seventy four. Pruitt came out in his last press conference and talked about how he's really liking what he's seeing out of him, and and he's really showing some showing some great improvement. And I expect him to be a big time part of this unit. And so I think that 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 old line, if you look at you know guys like Wanye and you have uh, uh, Carvin and 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 and, and Calbert and, and Nihas Johnson, um, uh, Jameer Johnson as well, having those guys um, and having Tatum as well. I think that we actually have a pretty solid old line coming in, and so um, I think that's a very solid group. And so it probably is tough for our D line to get a good pass rush, which is something that we heard about from the from the scrimmage as well. Is that the D line's not getting much pass rush? And uh, I believe it was Wes Rucker asked a very good question in that in that press conference, and kind of asked Pruitt, "Hey, how do you how do you decipher whether a lack of pass rush is?" more attributable to a stout and sturdy offensive line or more attributable to the pass rush just being non-existent and Pru would use an example of well you know if I if I if I if I if I'm not getting the, if we're not getting any pass rush by our D line and I call a draw play draw play should be wide open. You know what I mean? Uh you know um you know if if if, if our pass rushes are getting upfield the draw play should be wide open. He's like, but but I call the draw. I call a couple draw plays. I'm gonna get any yards, which tells me that we're not getting any movement. We're not getting we're not getting any any of our pass rushers up the field, um, and so that's more of a sign that the D line is not doing what they need to do. But like I said, part a lot of it has to do with a lot of our D lines not here. Darrell Middleton, Savion Williams, uh, Elijah Simmons, and even uh, Karak Garland aren't participating in the spring. And so we're not operating at full capacity on that D-line. We're not operating full capacity on O-line either, but not on the D-line either. So I think as we get more guys in here, the D-line will improve. But it is a little bit alarming and concerning because we heard, like I said, we heard the same tune last year. And it's something that we've learned about Pruitt is that whatever he says, it's pretty much you can take it at face value. He's, he's calling it like it is. And so we need to get more pass rush by that D-line, and that's something that I – hope to see improve he uh Pruitt did sound pretty optimistic about our ability to improve there uh pretty optimistic about the effort and energy that he's getting out of that group but um, we're gonna need more than Darrell Taylor we're gonna need some interior guys to step up we're gonna need we're gonna need everyone to step up there in that D line and give us some consistent push and 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 rattle the passer any way that they can and uh so far this spring it has not, has not seemed to be the case I know Pruitt's been spending more time with the old line to kind of, I'm sorry, with the D-line to help them uh, improve and, 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 and do what they need to be able to do. But thus far, it seems not have been working quite as well. And uh, it could just be the talent level there isn't what needs to be. But we need to improve on that D-line. But I do think our O-line is actually pretty solid in that 
in my opinion, I think that is partly to 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 blame for that lack of pass rush. Um, look at the quarterbacks. Uh, Garantano seems to be the guy. Uh, he seems to be most consistent from what I heard from the spring or from the from the Saturday scrimmage. He was solid. Didn't make very many mistakes. Um, you know, made some good completions, some good throws, and, and that whole deal. But uh, J.T. Stroud and Brian Maurer seem to kind of be behind the eight ball, which you expect, being guys who haven't got gotten very many game reps, if any game reps at all. And so you kind of expect that, but you hope to see them improve because if Garantano goes down, we're going to need someone else to be able to step in and, 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 and maintain the, the pace of the offense. So hope to see one of those guys really start to emerge and, and kind of separate themselves as a clear backup to Garantano because Garantano, he's, he's going to be our guy. I think that he has a bright future. I think Jim Chain's going to help him kind of really tap into that potential that he has and, and really do something for us this season. Um, as far as uh, the strength of our offense right now, what I'm what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, looks like there's some wide receivers, which you expected that. I expected that even last season, if you watched my, my videos from last year. We got a bunch of big body receivers. That's our most veteran group. And, I mean, those guys can play ball. I mean, we got three or four guys you can throw it up to and they can win those 50 50 balls majority of the time. So I think we need to use that. And uh D'Angelo Gibbs is a guy that 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 I've been hearing some good things about. And uh he's got some reps at defense this week playing safety and we'll kind of see whether they want to keep him at safety or keep him at receiver from what I've been hearing or from what I've been seeing. Um we're looking for another safety opposite Nigel Warrior and so he may be a guy that fits into that as well. But uh, I like him at receiver. I think we need him there probably more than more than we need him at safety. And so it's going to be interesting to kind of see how that all unfolds. But um, you know, overall, I think the receivers are our strongest group. Running backs, uh, Ty Chandler, uh, I believe it was Ty Chandler, Josh Palmer, and uh, Dom Wood Anderson were, were, were three names that really stuck out from the Saturday scrimmage. And, uh, you know, I expect Ty Chandler to have a big year. Get the ball out of the backfield, especially for our O line improves. Give him some more holes to run through. He's a everyone knows he's a he's a game changer. He's a game breaker. Give him give him some space. He can take to the house, you know, 90 yards. You know, he's he's that type of playmaker. Just have to give him the ball and space a little bit more. I think that Jim Taney will do that. That's something he's been doing is evaluating where he needs to get the ball to. And so, you know, who who are the playmakers? So I think Ty Chandler fits in that equation as well. Eric Gray, I expect him to contribute to that as well. It really be our game breakers out of the backfield. And then we use our big body receivers on the perimeter, stretch the field vertically uh, as well, and, and keep the defense honest and not keen in on the run game, which, uh, you know, is something Pruitt wants to build this team around. Not sure we quite have the personnel yet to do that, so we'll see how Jim Chaney kind of finagles that. I would like to see us be more of a pass team. I think, you know, maybe 60 40 pass to run. Uh, something that would suit us well, just with the person that we have at receiver. Uh, you know, I, I, I just think it kind of suits us well to operate in that way. Um, but I uh, didn't hear a whole lot else, man. You know, um, need to get more turnovers or something else I've been hearing. Just guys not being aware of the situation, aware of a guy that doesn't see him coming and being able to go and, and, and ball search and that whole deal. So we need to develop those skills, develop those traits. But, you know, I think we have guys that like to get the ball out. I think Nigel Warrior, Alante Taylor, Bryce Thompson, those guys. I think Trayvon Flowers is a guy who I wasn't high on last year, but being he was a true freshman, I really expect him to have a bright future getting that, getting those reps he got early on. And uh, he's looked good from what I've seen in spring practice as well. And so just um, I'm feeling pretty good, man. And the main reason I'm feeling pretty good about what, what I'm seeing and hearing is Pruitt seems pretty positive. He's been pretty positive. He's had negative to say, but he's been mostly positive. He said the scrimmage was much more physical than it was this time last year. And so that whole deal. And, and, and I think that probably that comes with something I've touched on before is just the talent level of our roster improving. And, you know, you may say, well, duh. But just the improving the, the, the talent of your roster improves the competition level. And it, is, it, it raises the standard, it raises the bar. And so these guys are having to live up to these expectations and live up to these standards to, in order to compete with, with their peers and with their teammates. And so I think that's a lot of the reason why we're seeing this physicality improve. And Pruitt said it several times. There's much more competition this year than it was last year. And that's a great thing to have. 
And so um, he's been positive, so I'm so I'm trying to keep it positive as well. I'm not, I, I like what I'm hearing overall. You know, we just need to get more out of the defense. I'm not sure why the defense is, is still kind of lagging behind. You expect them to be ahead of the offense at this point. But, uh, you know, hopefully we see that defense pick it up because I've been saying it and I still believe it that this, this team is going to be uh, defense-led. You know, we may not score 30 points a game offensively, but I think our defense can hold guys to under 21 points a game. So if we can put up 24 points, whatever it is, a game offensively, I think we have a really really good shot to be successful and have a really solid season and prove a second year. So, uh, you know, that's my take on what I've been seeing so far. Offense is still ahead of the defense. We need to get more out of the defense, get more out of the pass rush, get more turnovers in that whole deal. But, um, you know, like the competition that we're having, like the time that we have, and we have guys coming in that will be here in the summer. So, overall, I think we're in a good spot. We just need to keep on improving each and every day. And uh, I think Pruitt and his bunch, we have a great coaching staff, probably definitely one of the best in the country for sure, in my opinion. And uh, I think they'll get the most out of these guys. And we need to continue to recruit and bring on these guys to continue to elevate the competition and elevate our ability to play and compete on the field as well. So, uh, you know, like what I'm seeing, man, overall, very, very positive reviews. And uh, just can't wait to see the spring game here in a couple of weeks on April 12th, I believe. So looking forward to that. But, hey, if you guys have anything you, you uh, want to talk about, anything I missed out on today or any, any topics you want to get into, Please feel free to comment below, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. And as always, man, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.